What's up, everybody? This is Parker from the Fast Foodies Podcast, back with another protein bar review. That's correct. There's another big day at the gym today, full body session. That's correct. We did uh, exercises for almost every body part out there. And because it was such a big day, we're not going to be reviewing just one protein bar. We're going to be reviewing two. That is correct. Two protein bar reviews today. Well, one review, two protein bars. And uh, yeah, let's get into it. Enough talking. We're going to be, well, <laughs> let me introduce the bars first and then we'll get into it. Today, we're going to be reviewing bars from good to go. That is correct. And I don't think I've tried, I don't know if I've tried, honestly, I've done so many protein bars reviews, uh, protein bar reviews on this channel. I don't remember if I, I've, I've tried any other flavors before. If I have though, there should be a card that will pop up in that corner. And today we're going to be trying out their vanilla almond flavor. This is what the vanilla almond bar looks like. See, it's like a, it's a soft baked bar actually. And it has like little bubbles. And we're also going to be reviewing their cinnamon pecan flavor bar. This is what the cinnamon pecan bar looks like. Pretty similar, but it has a little bit of a darker profile than the vanilla one. And now cinnamon does come before vanilla in the alphabet. So let's start off with the cinnamon one. And now I broke off a little piece. Or I broke off this piece so you can see what the inside looks like. Let's see how it tastes. Mm. Now that my friends, this is a good tasting cinnamon pecan baked bar. Now, I, I don't know if this is initially a protein bar. I mean, it only has, I think both these bars have uh, six grams of protein. So not the most protein ever. However, for the flavor, I mean, I'd rather eat like five of these than like one Quest Bar, or one Lenny and Larry's cookie, honestly. This tastes delicious. Very nice, subtle hints of cinnamon. And then that is a real nice pecan flavor. I thought it'd be like the opposite, you know, like stronger cinnamon because I find that cinnamon is a, uh, an easier flavor to kind of uh, throw into a product, but no, the pecan flavor in this is delicious. It's almost tastes like a, I would, I don't want to say pecan pie, but very similar flavor profiles to a pecan pie. And I was also getting subtle hints of like a sweet potato casserole in there. Ooh, with that cinnamon, that's good. Now, texture wise, the outside, nice, soft, almost like a, there's this one treat. Uh, it's like a soft baked, uh, it comes in like a, it looks like a teddy bear almost. Uh, I know they're very popular in Europe. I'll put a picture up on screen if I can find one. But yeah, no, very soft, kind of a little dense though as well, which I like. So it wasn't just airy and fluffy. And then you got bits of uh, not only like walnuts in there, but uh, also almonds, I think too, which just add a nice little uh, crunch to it. So you're not just biting into like a soft baked cookie or something like that. Anyway, on to the next one. I'll give uh, both these ratings at the end. Let's try the vanilla almond one. That's what that looks like. Another banger. This uh, this is great. Sweet vanilla, a subtle sweet vanilla taste or a flavor I should say. And I'm getting a nice almond flavor as well. Those two are really coming together nicely and creating a, a really almost like a dynamic duo of flavors. Now this one doesn't have as many, I'm trying to find. Yeah, now the one downside to this bar is that there's nothing inside. So texturally, the outside, very similar, uh, kind of a soft baked, almost like a soft baked cookie um, texture profile. But yeah, there's no, I wish they had uh, bits of almonds in this vanilla almond bar. I don't know why they didn't include those because they did include them in the uh, cinnamon pecan one. But overall, no, two delicious bars from Good To Go. And if you guys see these in your grocery store, definitely recommend picking them up. Let's get into the ratings before I forget. I'll start off with the uh, cinnamon one because that's the one I reviewed first. I'm gonna give that one, I think a 9.5 out of 10. That one was uh, delicious. And one of my favorite bars I've had in a while. I think it could, it would have been a 10 out of 10, I think if it had a higher uh, protein content, but I do have to dock some points off because it doesn't have that like 18, 20 grams of some of the other bars I've tried out there have. Now the vanilla almond one, I'm gonna give that one 8.5 out of 10. I think the flavor was there, but just texture wise, I wish it had something 
else uh, to provide. But overall, as I mentioned, two great bars. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. And if you want to hear more, check out Fast Foodies Podcast on Apple Podcasts and Spotify.